Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we are playing a Xenoly Chronicles 3. So last time we found ourselves a new hero in the form of Alexandria here. So I don't know if that was specifically the hero that I was missing in the roster. Uh, let's check the roster actually. Uh, wait, where am I looking? Class. No, there's still this empty space here. And so this is Alexandria's class. Hmm. So we're still missing one somewhere. But, uh, where, I don't know. I guess for now... Let's move on to Cadenzia region, which I believe is the region where Sword, uh, where Sword March is located. A new location? Do you think this city thing's really real? <laughs> I'm starting to get butterflies. This is something decent, right? Well, there's a camp right a here. here. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. I uh, don't. Do we have something to discuss? Oh, the Mondo, Just right. Your blade's awesome. It is pretty nifty. Let's be real. <laughs> of course, Tyon does not have much of a sweet tooth and cannot handle this saccharine language. I mean, probably. I mean, leave it to Tyon to be uh, to be grounded and realistic. <laughs> I guess he uh, he read the room and figured this is what people need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he okay? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and level up. That's a lot of bonus experience. Which will take us all the way up to level 50. I definitely feel stronger. I'm really feeling it! Let's clean get ourselves mind, cleaned up. They're practicing their, uh, their flautist skills. I wonder, like, if you're really good at, um, at, like, wind instruments, if you'd be able to read their finger movements and actually hear what they're playing. In your mind. Oh, that's cute. Ugh. Let's be off. There is a unique over there. What level are you? Happy, huh? You are level forty two. I can probably handle you. I'm level 50. Trying to draw you in.
Why is the pull button not working? Because I was pressing the wrong button. Alright. Did it? Did it just fart in our general direction as an attack? Offensive farting. Also, Ouroboros apparently walks on water. I don't think I ever realized that. Smash. I'm gonna guess not. To be fair though, Smash is prettier. Alex is down. I am almost down. Everyone's up, let's do a chain attack. Very good, Lance. Put down some heals for Tyon and Alexandria. Um. Aggro damage up, so that's going to be the main play. Uh, I don't think this is a side end. Let's go do power charge on it, and that will exceed. Not sure how you're managing to do this in the water, but you know. Suspension of disbelief, I suppose. Now, the issue is I'm probably going to end up uh, needing four moves here, and I don't like it. Uh, so, Tyon and Yunya, unfortunately, is not one of my options. Let's start off with this. If I'm lucky enough with this one, I think this going to be a front attack. No. Mm. Unfortunately, that's going to be point limit because that's a healer attack. So I'm going to need a fourth attack for this. And I'm probably not going to get to exceed again. Unless I get back in action. Well, 48 is pretty good. Uh, so if I if I want the or Boris attack and then I need to try to succeed with uh, Noah. Well, that might do it. Yeah, now I get at least 30 points, so I'm gonna do it. Multiplies TV by 125% when first in line to attack? When would you ever be first in line to attack?
Anyway, somehow I managed to get the, the Ouroboros Order that reactivates everyone. I really wish I could get Uni into this, but unfortunately this is going to exceed for sure. additional damage is going to be experience bonus on top of the experience bonus for the fact that this is a unique and if we had not just uh, gained like three levels just uh, just before this that would probably have given me a fair amount of uh, Fair, uh, fair way is to our next level. Anyway, this is probably going to be our entry cinematic for this region. Yeah, sure enough. And hey! Oh, but aren't you a ginormous sparker? Whoa, where's the top? We finally made it, huh? Quite. Let's get to the base of the sword. Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. <laughs> Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. And welcome to the Great Swords base. And very soon we shall be at Sword March. Never seen this place before. In fact, I wonder if the people who attacked the castle came from Sword March. What's wrong? Mio? I hear a strange sound. Sound? You have better hearing than uh, Noah with your cat ears. What, what is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Hey guys! Don't mind us, we're just, um, we're just passing through. Try to get to Sword March, how are you? What the? Who are they? Those Levnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means... Well, if that's the truth, then maybe we found ourselves a new ally. The name's Monica. Monica Vandom. The man Vandom? Who to you. Was your father. I'm his daughter. Or you can deliver it that way. You know Guernica? 
You're headed for the city, ain't ya? Sure am. That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. Yeah, all right. Shania? That's a pretty rare name. I only know one other person named Shania. And she's a country singer. Livness from earlier disappeared in sky. Yep. Oh, and before we take it to the city, you have to wear these. Eye patches? They're the same as the ones we wear. Put them over the eye where your heart is. What? They won't hurt you. Thanks for the cooperation. We appreciate this. So, I said we aren't hostile. That might not be enough to earn your trust, I'm guessing. But at least you're free of service. So you can treat me as your prisoner until we reach the city. Huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound right, darling. Don't want a prisoner? Whatever, I'll be your escort then. I should point out, you won't find anyone uh, better with a maze than the lost numbers. Yeah, well, don't bash us about with it or anything. If I wanted to, then your attitude would have earned would have earned you a thrashing already. So let's be on our let's be on our way. Shania, Shania will know. Uh, Shania will show you how to go. Monica has temporarily joined the party. Oh, thank you for not walking. We have some new names registered. And you're not exactly running the fastest, but, uh... Fortunately, I'm able to modulate my run, my run speed decently well here. Monica, can I ask you something? Just keep following Shania, will you? We'll talk more later. I'm, gu I'm guessing the eye patch thing is because the consoles are able to um, spy on people via the iris. And how are we meant to get to the city from here? Uh, yeah, this is a dead end. Wrong. Me? A door? This leads into the Great Sword. The city's this way. What a masterful disguise. Oh, when Ethel said there was nothing of interest in Sword March, I guess she never found this. Hey, you guys done? Can we get going? So much to see, huh? What a brilliant contraption. 
No wonder nobody's ever found it. <laughs> You'd better save some of that surprise. door there, but uh, right now I'm just worried about following Shania. Wow! This place was inside the Great Sword all along? Save a bit of surprise, I said. <laughs> Whoa! Check this place out! The Fuller M Elevator uh, landing, as opposed to the emptier one. Eh? Eh? Alright, well that's our show. Thank you for watching. So, Guernica, that's... that wrinkly guy. Back then. <laughs> wrinkly guy. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city? That's where the elevator's taking us. <sighs> You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Yeah, that's what I Mobius figured. Mobius's. When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? <sighs> we'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros blood. Just what are you? Oh, wow. <laughs> We're so high up. What a view! I've never seen anything like it! Certainly takes your breath away. Can you save your observations for later? Oh, you're... you're Scottish. Come on! Got it. The Great Sword's Hilt. Check it out. Well, it's digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Oh, jeez. Do we have to? Got nothing on this dizzying height. Fortunately, grasping onto a ladder um, will automatically end all battles. Where's Shania? Getting dark already. Maybe she went that way. Oh, okay. Let's go. 
She is indeed going this way. Um, my head kind of hurts. Ah, yeah. That happens when you gain altitude fast. Don't worry, it'll subside. Entrance is up ahead. Still following everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing. I wish that there was going to be a cutscene here. Can take the eye patches off now. Won't need to pass this point. Uh, oh, right. You're sure about that? See, he's got some single jamming tech that functions like the eye patches blocking detection by Mobius. We're safe inside. You have my word. I suppose that must be the reason why they haven't been able to discover the city thus far. You got that right. This place is our last redoubt, and our sole haven in this world. But as soon as we step outside, Mobius are all over us like a bad little sweater. So what I'm saying is, don't forget your eye patches when you're out and about. That's all. I hear you, loud and clear. We'll remember. City. The city doesn't even have a name, it's just called City. This is the city. It sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes, they look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll <laughs> follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. New allied colony data. It's bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. <coughs> Ouroboros, yeah. So they're Ouroboros? And they're from Kevus and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. There could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prude faces abound here. Manana spy tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans, just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? Yep. You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> These guys. What's your problem? Mind your manners. 
Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose him. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vandom. Uh, all right then. Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. We have some new names registered. I'll introduce some you to more. Time. All right. More follow the Shania here. You um you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why why you stormed the castle? Boba. After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. They kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry. Poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. <laughs> Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. I mean, the, the growth modules are the we things that we angels. saw in the throne room, right? Now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. So that girl was keeping an eye on us. Did you notice, Mimi? No. Nope. She didn't so much as make my ears twitch. So that's the state of affairs. We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. Oh my. This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? So that's the state of affairs. Wow. Hey, Noah, you know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? 
I want to hear what they have to say, but then there's a cutscene. I don't get to hear it. Cradles. Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth, trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. Yeah, sure enough. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius's shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh... Right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. And now you get to learn how human life is supposed to work. So that's the state of affairs. Of course, we're not going to get to see all of the details about how human lives are supposed to work. And then we die. Over, and over, and over. I can hardly believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt. I wonder how much longer this tour is going to last, because uh, I would like to actually take a look around the city rather than just be led everywhere. Are you actually going to show us a childbirth? Is that what's about to happen? Yeah, that's some pregnant ladies. This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? Hey, Zylanth. Come.
Keep in mind, this is the first time any of them has seen a newborn. These, uh, basically clones just live a constant loop of the ages between 15 and 25. They die, and then they come back, and then that's their entire lives. They just it's so fight. Small. It's a little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. It's okay to touch her. Gently now. reflex which tends to enchant a lot of adults hey Santa look at this you need to try it too oh. even Tyon is just absolutely Whoa. bedazzled right. by this Mimi it's incredible L let me have a turn <laughs> this is the first time I've this seen Tyon like this. Incredible, Senna. Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. Oh, there are definitely ins and outs oh, involved. And lasses? Who wants to know how babies are made? Oh my. <laughs> uh. hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up. I I I I think this is where there is a scene missing. Also, nobody, uh, nobody knows about this. Um. <laughs> this is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. I'm guessing that's Guernica's eye patch. Monica. 
What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. that you've never known how to show it and you've never known to show it because that's not what you're programmed to do. Uh, every, every single body that comes out of those so-called cradles is meant as a machine of war and machine of war has no use for these emotions and now these Time. look machines are mm. it looks the same as the one before learning what it Who is to they? be outside of that the first ouroboros the founders we call them the first ouroboros that one she looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... don't look like anyone. <laughs> Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only Man, six? Shania is a bit salty why about so that. Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real queens. Yes, real queens. I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Hmm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Well, then. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that... Both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And your opinion, your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. Oh. 
All right. So, when the world is back to right, then what? The people you've seen here? The way they live their lives? That could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them. If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders... It lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth. Part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious. So now, more walking to do. This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. Um. So, pretty positive. Plural rep? You mean like representation of plural systems? Uh, I don't know if that's Xenoblade 3. It might have been talking about Xenoblade 2, but I haven't seen anything about that, so. Also, Mobius this takes place in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. Not exactly, no. In the Sonic the Hedgehog universe, Mobius is good people. <laughs> so the Kevis and Agnes warning levels have combined to form a single Mobius warning level. There's been changes to colony relations. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. Uh you know, I added some words to Automod so that people wouldn't make that joke. And yet, here you are getting around that. Little hotel. This is the dome for young and lost number soldiers. You can sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask that guy about your about your rooms. Oh, and sadly there is no kitchen in the building. 
A lot of the single soldiers eat at the Michiba Canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land over there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow we have a lot, of, uh, lot to discuss. Agreed. How shall we arrange that? Meet me in the, the Lost Numbers War Room. There's a place down the lift from, uh, from near the Praetorian Hill, which we pass on the way here. I'll let you know closer to the time. Oh, before I forget. You're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? So we won't hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased to not uh, to I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Uh, let's uh, take a look around then. Michiba Canteen. Featuring Michiba, I guess. The Aqua Pazza of the City. We have some new names registered. Huh. Do people have to make so much noise? Yes, yes, they do. And uh yeah, looks like we can gain yet another bonus level. Definitely feel stronger. Ah. See how our gems are doing. See if there's anything we can upgrade. We can upgrade this one a level. We can upgrade a couple of things. Finished. Wanna try it out? Nothing to be sniffed at. Wanna try it out? Nothing to be sniffed at. Wanna try it out? Finished. Wanna try it out? Nothing to be sniffed at. Wanna try it out? We'll try out the gem Senna, don't worry. Wanna try it out? I wasn't paying super attention to these. That's all the upgrading we can, we can do for now. That's enough for today. So much. Clean your body, clean your mind, I guess. Just going to casually clean our bodies and clothes 
in the middle of town. Surely no one will mind. Especially, it's vital you know, to keep a record of events. since the actual flow of life is unabated here. Where to from here? So let's, uh, let's map this place out. You know what? This place has kind of a Midgar feel to it. You know what I mean? Ah, there's the Machiba Canteen that they were talking about. Make sure to tag that on the map. Another landmark. Huh. True thing, champ. No good choice. I'll probably help with your study. Reading. <laughs> Shop, you say? We have some new names. I, I I don't suppose. Nah, you don't. I was wondering if maybe Wall Wall would have some uh... Best much hello. Hey, I was wondering if maybe. Uh... Oh, this is. Is this food? Huh, all right. A bunch of shops here. City clothing. I see, I see. Let's see what you have. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. Wow, that really drained me, actually. It sure ain't. The gnome wetlands. At least scavenging is something that uh, our people here can relate to. Asia region. That's a uh, ways away. We have some new names registered. Actually, yeah, that's where we came from. What is this? It's supposed to be sheep music. That should be enough data. Oh, let's see. Uh, lots of points of interest here. I don't know what's going on there. Let's get back to city camp here. I mean those wrinkly dudes. Your dad's dad, or your dad's mom, or your mom's dad, or your mom's mom. Make my head. They have some new names, yeah, just... they they still do not recognize the concept of mother and father. So it's obvious to us, but. Um... Uh, 
again, the whole thing about uh, those were not concepts that were ever needed in our world. And uh, now we're actually learning about them. This is the door. Where does this door lead? We'll never know. Hey kid, I'm a computer. What does that all mean? Let's remarried. My mom's and dad's get married, but my dad had died, and my mom got married again. We have some new names registered. Probably only once every four years. And here we are. Yeah, I can I can see why the Ouroboros candidates would be um, not happy. I see. I mean, that's fine too. We have some new names registered. Timna. Six houses. Actually, the beginning of this uh, of this song sounds a little bit like uh, we have some new names registered. The uh, the town music from uh, Diablo One. Why can I not remember the name of the town in Diablo 1? Oh my goodness, my memory is a shambles. I did ca I did smash up the castle's annihilator. Might say that I annihilated it. <laughs> we have some new names registered. I mean, I suppose. Tristram. There we go. That's what it is. I think that's pretty much all of the city we've seen now. Is there anything up here? No. This isn't gonna be like, uh, like cross code where we're just gonna start, um, like running over, uh, the rooftops. Crap like that. No. Alright. Sen, that means three. Maybe the one on the far left. I said that's what you're into. We have some new names registered. Also that's what you're into. I have no idea what we're talking about. I think it is time for some rest.
and about half an hour of more story exposition. N, you say? You know him? I know of him, definitely. He's been a real thorn in the city's side. Sounds rough. He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Huh. Why bring him up? Uh, well, no reason. Hmm? What's wrong? Is it something Monica said? Is there a problem? No. Don't worry about it. It's just a passing thought. Yeah? Oh, I got some news earlier. We're not sleeping in tomorrow. Our briefing starts early. Get some rest while you can. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Good night. It makes sense that he would be curious about N, because N is basically him, and also that guy in the, the hall statues. Wow, soft beds are really comfy! Who knew? I'm fairly sure you've, al you've always slept, slept well, even in sleeping bags. Same? You lot, weren't you even a, a little nervous? Clearly you were nervous enough for all of us, judging by those dark circles under your eyes. You couldn't just meekly go to sleep after getting here and processing all that information. That sounds more like excitement than nerves if you ask me. Well, it looks like last night's jumble of information will be sorted out in the war room. Right. I should probably stop making a move over to the war room then. Right, agreed. Monica said you take the lift down from near uh, by from nearby the Praetorian Hill, right? This is for the sword's hill guard. All the way there. Okay then. Yep. Face with Boxy. What's your name? Wasn't there like a very early YouTuber named that, and there was a lot of drama around her? up here. Well, that lets us go up here. I realize this is not the way to go, but hey. 
When has that ever stopped me? If I'm curious about a path, I'm going to more than likely follow that path through. Or actually, is that just the exit? I think that might just be the exit. With a fair amount of topographic data. Yeah, that's the exit. Or well, one of them, anyway. All right, no more getting distracted. No more getting stuck on geometry. Let's just get to the place. I think we can take that elevator down to the war room. It's been a while since my last war council. Hope this isn't one of the boring ones. We'll head to another level. <sighs> All right, let's get our briefing. Okay, then. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are... Uh, who was it again? You're looking for Gondor. Ah, that's right. So then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labor? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Example? On the day of an eclipse, once a year, they hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. Oh dear. The whole event gets projected, high into the sky. That's what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queens. A month? Mia. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you know what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. Hmm. The red glowing Mobius eye thing. Oh, that. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. Long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? You've put the Cavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, thanks. Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. 
Yeah, well, that's how we do things. But still... I'll tell you to be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. Huh? However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. The kind <laughs> doesn't win wars. There's a Nopon called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Right. Get the details from him. Mr. Samon's engineering department. Go down the lift near Dogon Cliff and you'll find it in no time. It's a big lift you took, uh, you took to get up here. Another one. Right. Well, that's it. Ciao. Oh, what? You're not gonna show us the way? The strategy meeting we have to be at. Discus discussing what uh, discussing what to do after the infiltration. Oh, you're infiltrating the present too? Well, it was originally our plan. Let's see. Looking forward to working with you then. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna be all buddy-buddy with you. Wow, what crawled up his ass? Look at it from their perspective. We essentially took the Orboros powers that they were originally intended that were originally intended for them. But what does that have to do with any of this? Let's just play off off for now. We should head to we should head to Ah We should head to engineering. Castle Axis. So that's the state of affairs. I'm still becoming as strong as this kind is. I mean, of this day, it remains an aspiration. Drink of Andam. So I think before we go, there's a lot of discussion points that uh, that we found around here. Also, there's a couple of new quest markers. In fact, it almost looks like one of the quest markers is actually down here. We'll head to another level. All right. Well, thanks for dropping by, Islands. Um, probably not gonna go for too much longer here. You got most of the story exposition for today, I think. Quest. Uh, yeah, pretty much. They're paying out a bounty for damage dealt to Mobius. We have some new names registered. Neat. So this wasn't so much a quest as it was just a special prize for. Uh, for taking out some Mobius. Before anything else, let's uh actually can we discuss at City Camp or would I have to go to the canteen? 
I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. Now we can discuss here. Because this is a lot of stuff. I mean... Version of one kind with your boss. Yeah. And stop eating your good bad habits. I mean, with Ouroboros, that's pretty much what we're doing, is just <laughs> with the sparks of power, girl. Yeah, a little bit of uh, bonus experience from that. I just want City to clothing. Those we borrowed. Probably. Still, it's not weird or anything, right? I mean, that's true. <laughs> You're fine. The very tie on approach. <laughs> Your scarf is deeply uncool. <laughs> nice. I just wanted to go reading. People called adults teach those folks smaller things. What's children? What's reading books to children? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, that's because you don't have a mental point of reference for any of this. Like, literally, the first time you saw a child was yesterday. This might get complicated. That's an idea. Counterpoint. But yeah, the, the Offseer's theme is a very solemn theme. So the idea of happy music is probably a very different idea for them. both Agnes and Kevis to get the stuff they need. A secret platoon. I wonder what's up with that name, The Lost Numbers. I mean, it's a, the number of people, I guess? Indeed. Titchy little unit. But it's my fault, is it? On what lines it is. Eventually. They have a million things to do, but this appears to be a hero quest. This might get complicated. We've been through a lot since we've uh, since we've settled on getting to the city, eh? Well, we made it all. Uh, we all made it through in one piece. That's something to be to be thankful for. Yeah. 
We're seeing a world that we've never known before, experiencing experiencing it for the first time. Just wish I could have let Gernika know that too. If it wasn't for him, we'd, be, we'd have been cut down right where we stood. Yep. Maybe just ended up blindly killing each other in battle like every other schmuck. I'm glad it didn't come to that. Yeah, think about it. What the old man gave us, it was immense. But in the end, we won't know a flippin' thing about the guy, will we? Kinda sucks. I mean, it's pretty late in the day, but I really want to know more about him. I wonder what his motive was for giving us this power. No, in fact, I think we have a duty to find out. Because like him, we stand together with the people of the city. Seems all the city folk uh, thought he was a pretty awesome guy though, huh? Especially Monica. He was a really special person for her, right? Indeed. Monica was referring to him as Dad. It's a city custom. That's what they call the person who raises them. Perhaps we could ask Monica about Kernika then. Find out what he really thought. After all, we're carrying his dreams now, fighting to make them real. Break time's over! So let's go have a talk with Monica. Actually, hang on. Wasn't there? Yeah. I'm seeing a ladder, but where are they? I'm gonna try to find my way to that uh, quest, the new quest marker over in the corner here. Looks like it's in there, but this door is locked. I wonder if we were to go all around the top there, if we'd be able to get there. Oh, hey Monica. Lots of loading. Monica. Can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. <laughs> we were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him. But we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. All right. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So... We thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. Ha! I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After I chose a military life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... You weren't on very good terms. I got to know the man, I think. 
but not the father. I just thought that we'd have more time together. Huh. Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. <sighs> Sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad, Guernica, died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in? Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But... There are personal items that have been left behind though, right? Huh? Maybe... You'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well, we'll get some closure from doing this too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, good on you. Travis, could you pull up the tactical register? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's the data. We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around El Feso Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. <laughs> okay, guys. It's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. So that's the state of affairs. We'll head to another level.
these are worth a bit, right? What would it be doing here? Have some new names registered. Might as well claim this. I found something shiny. What would it be doing here? So that's the state of affairs. Better put our eye patches on.
Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Better give it a good one, it's over. We have some new names registered. No problem.
All right. It's These open. are worth a bit, right? What would it be doing here? Is that... Uh... I wonder if there's another way somewhere. This is our first time here, isn't it? It's vital to keep a record of events. Holy crap, I just realized I've been muted for a while. I don't know how long I've been muted, but, um... Well, it's happened anyway, so... Oh well. Um, so yeah, like I was trying to say, but I was muted so you never heard me, that's going to be the end of the stream. So thank you all for watching, uh, small crowd today, but thanks for uh, SimGuy and Xylenth for dropping by. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 8pm or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the... Uh, Sunday Super Shuffle. We're gonna do some archipelago shenanigans. I might open it up uh, for people who want to play bumper stickers. I'm not going to be doing that myself this time, but um, yeah, leave it as an option at the very least. Uh, next stream after that is gonna be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the regular long run stream. We're gonna play uh, Paper Mario. The Thousand Year Door, and uh, I think we're going on to Chapter 7, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, going through that game at a pretty good pace. Maybe another, like, two or three streams? Question mark? We'll see how it goes. Following that is going to be on uh, Wednesday at 4 p.m., uh, Atlantic Daily Time, it is the Code Creator stream. We're probably going to work on bumper stickers. There's actually a fair amount that I still need to do. Uh, we might do something else, I don't know. Because uh, there's a side project that I do want to work on. And that takes us round week, round wheel, to our next extra long run stream. Uh, next uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daily Time. Uh, where we're going to do a little bit of running around for uh, Monica Vandom and uh, perhaps recruit her into our party. So that should be fun. We made it to Sword March, uh, to Sword March guys! Finally did it. It took us 11 sessions, but we did it. It's done. Alright, so... Once again, that is going to be it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.